How to live in your masculine energy. The hardest thing for a young man to figure out is how to live in his masculinity when the world sometimes is afraid of our strength. A young man comes into his own when he realizes his own power as a masculine man of God. But then he has to learn how to be humble in the middle of power. When dealing with young women, when dealing with relationships, relationships at home, at work, a man has to constantly go back and forth between the healed masculine and the unhealed feminine. The healed masculine is the one who has the power, but with humility. The Bible calls it, be gentle as a dove, but wise as a serpent. Gentle as a dove is the healed feminine part of a man. And the wise as a serpent is the healed masculine. Now, what's unhealed or toxic about a man is when he uses his physicality or his strength or his power to hurt other people. Now, this is often necessary when dealing with danger, with other men that work out in the field. A man has to use his power to compete in the marketplace. But when it comes to relationships, when it comes to uh, intimate connections, the man has to then get into that healed part of his masculine energy, which is humble, which is gentle, which is the provider, which is the guide. Now, it is very easy to know when you cross the line. It's often when you cause fear in the other person's eyes. That's how the man knows that he has gone too far. And that's when you have to then go back and use what the Bible calls is self-control. The true nature or the true fruit of a masculine man who is in his healed godly energy is one who is gentle, kind, loving, humble, filled with joy and peace, who protects, who guides, who provides. But when push comes to shove, he can still defend his family, defend himself and his values. A man who is in his godly energy isn't afraid to be strong, to be firm, to correct, to guide, to admonish. But he doesn't use that to his advantage. Instead, he uses it to protect the flock. That's what Jesus did when he was talking about how the, the shepherd, that he protects the flock and he defends the flock from the, the, the bear and the lion and anyone who would want to hurt his sheep. It's what David did as a young man. It says that he defeated the lion and the bear and protected the sheep. And that's why God called him a man after God's own heart. But at the same time, a man of God, a man in healed, godly, masculine energy is one who gives his life away and lays it down for his friends. That's what, again, Jesus talks about in John 15. That is a true sign of a man of God. Wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. And sometimes we struggle with this balance because it isn't easy. Men are either too masculine or too feminine. They give in to the violent part of their strength or they become pansies. They become mensos, not mansos, as we say. You have to learn how to be that masculine man of God in your power, in your essence, but do it with humility. And always remember to not cross that line, that boundary. And I always use the verse where it says, in your anger, do not sin. We as men can easily be provoked to anger. And sometimes that's necessary, but you have to always watch for that line. In your anger, do not cross the line. And if you do cross the line, ask for forgiveness, repent, learn from your mistakes, go back and try it again. This is what we try to do here at Gosu University. This is a healing community where we are committed to helping young men become the men that God intended for us, uh, for us to be. Whether you are in your 20s, 30s, 50s, doesn't matter. We're all young at heart. That is what we are about here in this community. If you'd like to join the Gosu Healing Community, just can click on the link here below and we'll begin to build that relationship. For, for now, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for being here. I will see you next time.